Anna's Surprise by Esther Mizrachi. Chapter 1 A Special Day. Today we will have a special lunch. My class is going to learn about food from different countries. Five students brought food that their families eat. I am one of them. Close read. Understanding Texts Features. Underline the heading that tells you the topic of this chapter. What parts of the world does your family come from? Do you like to eat any special foods from those places? Mrs. Guzman calls on Akiri, Dag, Jamal, and Maria to lay out the foods they brought. Anna, you may keep your dish in the cooler, Mrs. Guzman tells me. My dish is for the end of the meal. And it is a surprise. I help the others set out their dishes. Chapter 2 Akiri's Udon Soup Akiri is first. She goes to the front of the room and stands next to a covered pot. Dad and I made udon soup, Akiri says. Udon are long, thick noodles from Japan. Close read. Understanding text features. Underline the word that tells you what the map shows. Japan. She opens the pot and steam wafts into the air. A wonderful smell reaches to the back of the room. I can't wait to eat a big bowl. But Akiri puts it into tiny cups. I try not to frown. Close read. Make inferences. Highlight the words that tell you that Anna is disappointed about the tiny cups. We wait until everyone has their little cup. Then we taste the soup. It feels warm going into my belly. Slurp the udon noodles. They are like chewy fat spaghetti. I am glad I have a napkin. Close read. Make inferences. Highlight the words that help you infer or figure out that eating udon soup is messy. I slurp the udon noodles. They are like chewy fat spaghetti. I am glad I have a napkin. Close read. Make inferences. Highlight the words that help you infer or figure out that eating udon soup is messy. Chapter 3. Dag's Spring Rolls Next, it is Dag's turn. Dag holds up a flat package. This is a package of rice wrappers, he says. It is a product you can buy in a store. Close read. Product. A thing that people use or eat. Thailand. Dag explains that he and his mom filled the rice wrappers with carrots, cucumbers, and purple cabbage. We made spring rolls, Dag said. The spring rolls are little white tubes with colors inside. Dag tells us that the spring rolls are a food people make in Thailand. Close read. Make inferences. Highlight the words that explain why the spring rolls have colors inside. Dag gives us each a small roll and a bit of sauce. I take a bite. The wrapper is chewy, but the veggies inside are crunchy. Close read. Vocabulary in contexts. Antonyms are words with opposite meanings. Look for the word chewy. Underline a word in the same sentence that has the opposite meaning of chewy.
Sauce. A liquid served with food to make the food taste better. I dip in the sauce for my next bite and get a big surprise. The sauce tastes like peanuts. I like the roll plain, but it tastes even better with the peanut sauce. Close read. Plain. Simple. Nothing on it. Chapter 4. Jamal's Pita and Hummus. Next, it is Jamal's turn. I brought pita and hummus, he says. Pita is a flat bread, and hummus is a dip. Close read. Vocabulary in context. Underline the words that help you know what pita is. Lebanon. He gives us a small triangle of the flat bread and a bit of dip. I raise my hand. What is hummus? I ask. It is a food people make in Lebanon, Jamal says. It is made of chickpeas. Hummus ingredients. Chickpeas? Sesame paste. Chapter 5. Maria's Quesadillas. Finally, it is Maria's turn. I brought flatbread too, she says, but mine has cheese inside. Quesadillas is a Spanish word for a popular dish in Mexico. Practice saying quesadillas. Close read. Understand text features. Underline the word in the box that tells you the language that the word quesadillas comes from. Mexico. Maria's dish is from Mexico. We hear Maria say its name, but none of us can repeat it. She writes it on the board. Q, U, E, S, A, D, I, L, L, A, S. Quesadillas. Maria gives out little quesadilla triangles. She also gives us a sauce called salsa. It is spicy. It makes my tongue tingle in a good way. Close read. Understand text features. Underline the heading in the box that tells what the box is about. Spicy. Having a strong, sharp flavor. Salsa ingredients. Tomatoes, chilies, onion, garlic, lime juice, salt and pepper. My belly is starting to feel full. But luckily, I have just enough room for the surprise. Chapter 6 Anna's Smoothie I brought a smoothie, I say. Smoothies are popular in the United States. I take the cold jar from the cooler. I pour small cups of thick purple smoothie. I am careful not to spill. United States of America What a pretty color, Ms. Guzman says. I want to drink this every day, Maria says. How do you make it? Maria takes out a pen to write down the smoothie ingredients. But I smile. I already had that idea at home. I have the recipe for everyone to take home. Close read. Make inferences. Highlight the words that help you infer or understand that Maria likes the smoothie. Ingredients. Foods you use to make a dish. Anna's Blueberry Smoothie. Ingredients. 
one banana, one cup, 250 milliliters milk, one and a half cups, 375 milliliters blueberries. Directions. One, peel the banana and cut in half. Place in a plastic bag and put in the freezer. Wait five hours more. Two, put the milk, the frozen banana, and the blueberries in a blender. Three, blend until smooth. Four, pour into two cups and enjoy. Makes two servings. Close read. Understand text features. Underline the words in step one that describe what the picture shows. The ideas. Freeze two or more bananas for quick smoothies anytime. Add honey for a sweeter smoothie. Use strawberries instead of blueberries for a strawberry smoothie. Add your favorite nuts to make a nutty smoothie. Add more milk to make a thinner smoothie and add less milk to make a thicker smoothie. Close read. Vocabulary in context. Antonyms are words with opposite meanings. Underline a word that is the opposite of thicker.